Hello my dear students, once again I welcome you all to your history online class. Again today we will be doing the continuation part of your Indian history with chapter number 9 that is known as Chris Mission, the Quit India Movement and the Subhas Chandra Bose with lots of contribution as well as the rules. But in today's class we will mainly focus on the second topic that is known as Quit India Movement or the Resolution. So Quit India Movement in Hindi we just say that Bharat Chodo Andolan. But it mainly refers that how Mahatma Gandhi being one of the great leader for India using his instrument like Satyagraha, non-violence or even following the terms of Ahimsa, even he played a very vital role in order to make the Quit India movement to a high platform. So here we see that how the Quit India regulation was actually when lots of Congress leaders they made a particular committee and there was a certain kind of meeting which was on 14th of July 1942 in a war the place focusing that there should be a new kind of movement which should be emerged and which can be a backbone for Indian people to go against the British government. So here but overall the All India Congress Committee that means from all the respective states whoever were the nominated members for the post of committee they finally got they finally get uh, finally gave approval to this quit india regulation on 8th of august 1942 so after that we see that lots of aims lots of objectives even the planning of the quit india movement also was seen by all the people slowly in those kinds of program manner so first we'll talk about the programs of the Quit India Movement. So after the Quit India Movement got approval on 8th August 1942, what was exactly the programs or the plannings of this movement in order to go against the Britishers? So first we focus on the 12 point program. The 12 point program mainly highlights about the problems, the how they were been dominated, how they were been treated by the Britishers with such kind of policies or schemes. So just to avoid all those kinds of problems, a 12 point program was been highlighted or it was been mentioned in the program list of Quit India. Second talking about so lots of states especially Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Bengal state they started emerging following all the rules regulations with all those kinds of programs planning of the Quit India regulation or the movement and slowly slowly they also became one of the most active states during those era and the third point we talk about the underground network that means after the quit india resolution was formed so lots of leader they also emerged they also made a teamwork and slowly slowly they also went with all those kinds of like a uh, protocol of the quit india movement and so a small small kind of movement was made so that even that small movement could have the quit india regulations to go against the britishers with whatever the policies with whatever the schemes that they were trying to humiliate or harass all Indian people so based on that underground like network of movement also was formed and next we'll focus on the causes what was the main causes that ultimately led to the decline or that ultimately led to a failure of the Quit India Regulation after a lot of contribution was being given by Mahatma Gandhi in the year of 1942 but just to add one point that when this 1942 this quit india movement chris mission the role of subhas chandra bose will be focusing during those era on the other hand side we see that there was already a second world war which already started from the year of 1939 and it got it got ended in the year of 1945 next focusing on the causes so first we see about the failure of the chris mission so in a previous class i taught you about the chris mission what were the proposals what was the main causes in it and based on that the Chris mission failure of 1942 also made one of the main causes in order to lead this new resolution known as quit India movement. Second we talk about the Japanese threat because already a second world war was uh, started between two kinds of powers first is known as the Axis power and the allied powers on the Axis powers Germany, Italy and Japan and on the allied powers UK that is Great Britain, France, Russia and later on even America joined. So based on that Japanese they were very much attracted toward all the Asian country because they had got lots of like ideas to go through all those kind of Asian countries and become more one of the most powerful Asian country during those times. 
And the third we talk is known as the communal problem. So communal problem mainly started from the year of 1905. So if you have seen the chapter called Partition of Bengal, from there we see that how Lord Curzon splitted or divided Bengal into two halves, East Bengal for, as a uh, capital for Calcutta and West Bengal, oh, sorry, Dhaka and West Bengal capital as Calcutta. So from there we start as how there was a communal problem that started between the Hindus and the Muslim. And from 1906, even I taught you about the All India Muslim League was formed in December 1906. So from there also we see even this communal problem between the Congress or the League or between Hindus and Muslim that also started and made one of the main causes to rise or to give a birth to new movement known as Quit India Movement. And the last topic for today's class that is known as significance. So what is the main significance or the impact after the Quit India Resolution was formed in the year of 1942. So here we see about the parallel government that how all the Indian leaders Mahatma Gandhi, Sardar Balabai Patel and many other leaders who were related with the Quit India Resolution, they wanted to make the British government a parallel government so that it would be easy for them to get independence as soon as possible. Second, we talk about the active role of patients as well as Zaminda. That means when the Quit India Resolution was formed, slowly, slowly, even the patients, workers, Zamindas, even they supported Mahatma Gandhi and other leaders with all such kinds of programs as well as the planning matter. Third, talking about the national patriotic feelings because from the year of 1857 when Indian states they got defeated by all the Britishers in the revolt of 1857 from there we see that how a feeling of patriotism a feeling of nationalism towards the motherland India they wanted to work and even those kinds of feelings of patriotism was seen among all the Indian citizens based on the year called 1942. And the last topic that is known as Gandhiji's contribution. So, as we all know, Mahatma Gandhi, he is mainly famous with the instrument of his policies known as Satyagraha, Ahimsa, or non violence. But even his contribution made more worthy of becoming one of the great leaders as well as the work that he did soon after he came from South Africa with the Champaran Satyagraha. Kheda, Satyagraha, Ahmedabad Textile Mill and so many other work and that is one of, so one of the most re remarkable contribution of efforts of Mahatma Gandhi. So this was overall the summary wise the scenario of your Quit India Resolution or the Quit India Movement of 1942. Hope you have understood the term with all the explanation that I gave you. Till then study well. God bless. Thank you.